Hello folks, it's been a while since I've dropped a video on you. Um, if you've never seen me before, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator from Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, those looking to get into the business. And if you're a homeowner, stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. That's National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code, it'll put you in touch with a certified radon professional in your area. We are in beautiful Southwest Virginia today. And we've just finished up a job at an older home with a dirt basement floor and uh, that's a scene there that you're pretty used to uh, this is a real estate transaction folks have done a lot of work to the home brand new HVAC unit right there um, but I'm gonna show you something pretty unique that you're not used to seeing in other uh, videos pertaining to radon all right so to orient yourself that's where the fan was. Got four inch PVC pipe coming in, gently sloping because radon systems produce condensation so it needs to drain out. And we're coming down here and we are pulling from underneath all of this plastic. And I've had uh, really good luck doing them like this. That is a sump pump right there that I'm actually not treating. Um, Long story short, I, 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 this is going to be sufficient as well as this weird retaining wall here that we're treating. We've got a uh, inch and a half stubbed in and run down under all of this goodness. Yeah, that's a lot of plastic folks. And um, but th this will be sufficient. The radon levels weren't terribly high and uh, that's why I'm electing not to treat the sump pump. I, I feel like this could be uh, an area where they might need to get at that fairly often. So we're going to leave that alone. And of course, if it, we're going to retest it, and if it comes back high, then, then we'll, we'll re-examine that. But I think this will be a very, I think this will be sufficient. And I want you guys to see this. Uh, you don't see a lot of videos like this with radon. And this is how I've had a, a really good success in treating it. And I've got that. This is, uh, you know, sort of to, to prevent a tripping hazard, really. But I did. I took a shovel and kind of trenched this out, so it's not going to be a, a huge hump. So, anyway, feeling good about that. And so you can hear it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, short video. Um, I hope this helps you. Uh, I'm sure it will help somebody out there in radon land. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one.